on this episode, we take our $5,000 boat, yacht, ship, and we take it on a really fun camping adventure. If you didn't catch the first episode, we picked this puppy up for five grand after the previous owner broke the outdrive. We found a rebuilt unit and bolted it on and had it on the water the next day. We've had a blast locally with the boat, and now it's time for it to go on an actual adventure. It's an annual camping trip where my whole family goes. So we won't be living on the boat, but we will be sleeping on the boat all week, and we're certain to have some boat-related adventures. In the last episode, you saw us packing the boat and the Super Duty full of all the camping gear. We made the 250 mile road trip, and now it is time to get this camping party started. Well, we've made it to camp, and we got the whole family set up in their tents and in their various places where they will be camping, and now it is time for us to launch the boat for our 10 day adventure on the water. Oh my goodness. Too freaking cool. Our friend Robert gave us this foldable canoe so that in theory, we can be moored out and take the canoe back and forth from land to see the family. The boat's in the water. You wanna know the craziest thing about this trailer? It floats. The dang thing freaking floats. It's got six tires on it that act as like buoyancy. It floats, it's crazy. Look. All righty, time to get aboard the ship. We're making it happen, y'all. Sort of have a dinghy. Pretty cool. And he also gave us a small little motor that we can mount to the transom of the canoe so that we can motor back and forth from where the boat is. Well, we jacked the battery out of the Bronco to put in our boat. <laughs> and uh, it's overkill. That's yeah. for sure. But it'll work, I bet, I hope. <laughs> what a beautiful evening. It works. You look kind of sophisticated. Sure. <laughs> yeah. It kind of goes fast. You're so happy about this too. Your smile is too much. He's stoked. Look at him, look at him. Finley, you gotta look at your father. Oh my gosh, this thing's so great. Babe, that's cool. Yeah. Instaboat for the win. It's really funny. <laughs> That's awesome. Boys realize they forgot the cooler, which has beer in it, so they're going to shore. <laughs> the boat's anchored out right now, so they're going back to the ramp, which is right over there, <laughs> to get beer. You guys had success, huh? Yeah. Good. First morning adventure to land. Coffee in hand, a little motor running, and someone needs to potty. Absolutely awesome night of rest for our first night on Lake Washita aboard our boat. You can go swimming, bud. Well, we're getting a light rain this morning. We just got to camp where all of our family is over there. And uh, it's a little rain right now. Well, we've just laid down after an awesome day at camp with the family playing and swimming. And obviously it's nighttime. We've laid down and the moon 
was shining bright at us. And now it's time for some rest. See y'all in the morning. Well, we tried out the forward berth last night and it was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. It's a little more cramped than that back bed, but I liked it. Now it is time to jump on the canoe and go have coffee with the family right out there on the point. Lots of breeze coming through. That is for sure. It was a constant breeze. So nice. How did you sleep, Finley? Off we go. The sun's coming up. Going for morning coffee with the family. Going into full speed mode. Waking up with coffee and baby snuggles. Oh, yum. Y'all, this is really exciting. This is something Erin and I have dreamt of since we picked this boat up. It's full of our family. We've got Garrett down here hanging out in the cabin. He's the only one in the cabin. He's just chilling. And then I'll take you up here. All the elders of our family. And Robert's the one that gave us the awesome folding canoe. So they're giving us all kinds of coaching tips on big boats and we are so thankful for it. And then we have more family in that master craft right up there, but so sweet. We're going for a sunset cruise. Couldn't be more grateful. Right, Aaron? That's right. How cool is this, babe? Pretty cool. Really good. <laughs> well, we've said goodbye to another beautiful day. Awesome conversation and um, memories of our family who have had boats like this in the past, um, camping overnight on this exact lake. It's very, very special to hear their stories and we're so thankful for the memories made tonight. Looking forward to tomorrow. beautiful morning. We've got beautiful heavy dew and the big sun coming up. Very, very thankful for another day on the boat. Last night was so special having everyone on the boat with us. I had my phone out filming, of course, and at one point I saw a YouTube comment pop up. So I opened the app and refreshed the view count and our episode on this boat, the first one, reached a million views last night. I don't know what to attribute it to other than just hitting the algorithm right and maybe a good title and thumbnail, but whatever the case is, wow, what a cool adventure and experience to be able to produce a video and do something that we were so excited about and have it be seen by so many folks and um, we're so thankful. Producing videos and shooting everything really kind of, it's a challenge to stay present. Um, like last night with the family, you know, I just, a large part of me didn't even want to shoot that because I'm like, man, I don't even want to get my phone out. I just want to sit with my grandparents and sit with my mom and 
um, just absorb this, but I just thought, you know, this is special and this is worth communicating and showing that this is something we value. And, you know, early on when I started the channel, I thought, if nobody watches this, it would be cool to have. Just like with our niece and building our first cars and doing stuff that means something to us, it'd just be cool videos to have for the future. And so, um, if you're thinking about starting a channel, consider these things. Documenting things that make you tick and that excite you is a pain and it's hard to do and it takes a lot of work to edit the final product, but it's worthwhile. It really is. If you get a million views or not, it's worthwhile to have it. Um, and the views are just a huge bonus. So, <sighs> all right, let's get this day started and go have coffee with the family. We've been cruising around on the boat for a few hours. It's been an awesome afternoon. And uh, we just anchored out and we're just gonna swim over to this shore, to this cool little beach over there, and just explore. day in the book. We'll see you soon, boat. Finley's happy. We tried to pump the black tank and realized that we didn't have the proper adapter. So today is the next day and we have a local duty calls guy that is boating up to the boat right now to pump our tank and that will be a new adventure and awesome to have that taken care of. Oh, this is the bait I need. Most of the sea rays are on that side. Yeah. So I was thinking, well, it's a sea ray. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be a sea ray at some point. <laughs> bait lines are good both too, though. Yeah, we yeah. like it. Yeah. It'll take long. <laughs> Sweet. I 
appreciate it so much. Say bye, buddy. Did you say bye to him? I'm gonna keep this. Duty calls. Duty calls. He did a great job. Yeah, that was quick. That was awesome. It was 40 bucks. All right, I'm gonna take it down. See you guys later. <laughs> Today is a special day because Aaron and I are preparing all the food for the family. I shouldn't say all the food, but dinner. Uh, uh -huh. We're doing smoked pork butt sliders. And oh, yeah. um, Aaron started the smoker last night. So the meat smoked all night and it will smoke all day. And I bet you it's gonna be real tasty. That's right, we're gonna do those little pork sliders with some, I put some coleslaw on them. Mm -hmm. making some potato salad with bacon in potato it. Potato salad which is gonna be bacon. fantastic. So we've been smoking this for probably 12 hours now. Now we're gonna wrap it up and put it back on there for another probably five or six hours. Well, I just got back from the grocery store and I bought entirely too much stuff. Oh well taking it out to the boat. <laughs> All right, then let's put a bunch of this stuff away. Ah, it's been an awesome day. Aaron has just pulled the pork butts off of the grill. Take a look at this beauty. like Christmas, but better. Yeah. All right. That is beautiful. Let's see what happens. What do you think, kid? It looks delicious. Right? I need what? some. Because there were so many days of content, I decided to break this adventure up into a two-part series. So you've just completed the first part, so be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss the second part of our adventures, which include a crazy storm, more adventures with the boat, and a very special guest. Look forward to seeing you on the next episode.